Hello everyone, it's me, Anthony Coach, a guitarist on YouTube. Have you ever seen the music video for Electric Eye by Judas Priest? If not, then I recommend you watch it. I was watching it the other day, it just made me want to break out the black shiny PVC outfit and the hat and walk around with my whip while screaming the lyrics at the top of my voice. And I was watching it and I was thinking, Do you know what? That opening riff just proves a belief that I have held for a long time. And that is that Judas Priest is just one of those bands that has created the blueprint of heavy metal and what it should sound like. I want to analyse that riff. I want to overanalyse that riff. Talk about the theory behind it. And then that analysis will hopefully be able to help you to create your own amazing heavy metal riffs. Anyway, this is how this song starts with this riff. I know I play with a bit more permuting, I'm just from the James Hetfield school of heavy metal. Doesn't matter, it's there or thereabouts. But first, before I talk about anything to do with that riff, we have to discuss Rob Alford's amazing entrance onto the stage. He actually starts singing the song while just nonchalantly strolling to the stage. It's amazing. And then finally gets out there and just sings an amazing vocal take. It's incredible. So for the riff itself, the thing is, it's based on chords, a chord progression. Not all riffs are, but this one is. Some amazing riffs, when you actually sit and analyse the notes that are being played, they're implying chords. And I used to get really confused when I used to learn from the, those chord books. You know, it'd have Oasis and you strum along all your nice, normal, open chords and Bon Jovi and whatever. Then it'd have like a heavy metal riff song, a song by Metallica or Motorhead or something, and, it, and it, it would have the lyrics written out and just chord symbols over the top, and I thought, it doesn't sound anything like the song. And I suppose what they were getting at is they'd boiled down some of those amazing heavy metal riffs down to what they thought the chord progression was. And I want to show you how to do that and how you can use that to create your own riffs. Let's have a look at that riff. E F sharp and G, that's it. With a low E in there. What chord is that implying to me? Well, it's in, implying E, G, B. There is no B being played, but it's implying E minor. In fact, this entire chord progression is in every guitarist's favorite key of E minor. So we've got E minor. Then we've got this C Lydian little thing. Take away the F sharp, you've got C, E, G. That's chord six in the key of E minor. What's next? That's A, E, F sharp, G. Get rid of the F sharp, it's not important. We're left with A, E, G, which is implying an A minor seven, which is chord four in the key of E minor. And then finally, a bit of a odd one out. I'm just going to say, for ease, that that is an implied B major chord. Chord 5 in the key of E minor. So, let's just imagine quickly that Judas Priest want to do an acoustic cover of this song, or an acoustic version of this song. I've no doubt for that section, someone in the band would be playing the following chords. C, A minor, and B major. A bit like when I did that acoustic version of Painkiller and uploaded it and no one watched it. But, anyway, moving on. If, but, anyway, moving on. If you've reached that point, you've analysed your if, you've found the chords that you believe that it is implying, that means that you can adapt it, edit it, change it. That's a nice exercise to do, to rewrite some of your favourite songs. Let's rewrite Electric High by Judas Priest by thinking along the lines of those chords. E minor, C, A minor, B, or B major, or even B7. But 
just call it B. Now at this point you have to really, really know your scales and arpeggios. That goes beyond the scope of this video. I'm not going to go too in depth with that kind of stuff, but I'm going to talk about it. You might be on board with it, you might already know it, you might not, just ask me in the comments, it's what I'm here for. What about if I extend that E minor thing? Okay, it sounds a bit too similar actually, what about descending? Okay. What was next? C. quickly here or else I'll forget some of it. Just a nice simple B major arpeggio though will do. Hopefully when I play my version of it now you're going to hear that it's it's pretty much a rip-off of Electric Eye by Judas Priest. However, it's my version of it. I'm getting the most out of the exercise. It doesn't matter that it's a rip-off. I'm just getting used to this idea of thinking chords first, but then making it metal. Of course, I could do this with any genre. I could do it, I could make it funk or whatever with the same chord progression, but today it's heavy metal. Okay, I prefer that. I just added a little flat nine in there. Here we go. Rewritten Electric Eye by Anthony Couch. I'm not going to call it Electric Eye, I'm going to call it um, Clockwork Ears. And Clockwork Ears by Anthony Couch. <laughs> enough change key change tempo maybe change time signature no one's going to even know that you ripped off one of the greatest riffs the most well-known heavy metal bands if you adapt it and change it a lot um, as it stands though that is very obviously a rip-off of electric eye so where to from here you've you've worked out your riff you've come up with the chords that you think that it's implying you know the key all your arpeggios all your scales You've, a, you've adapted your favourite song, you've ripped off your favourite song uh, as an exercise. What next then? Well, it's simple. You choose a chord progression that you like and apply that to that chord progression. If you find it tough, just go back to steps one and two again. Choose a different song, think, I like that riff, is it implying chords? It, I mean, that step does rely on quite a bit of music theory. So, you know, it, it's not easy to do, but it's well worth the effort. Even if you get it wrong, it's only music. If you think the chords are, imply, are, are different to, to the artist's intention, who cares? It's only music. You'll be adapting your own ear, and more importantly, your own style. If you play it wrong, that's even better, because it'll be less of a rip-off and more individually, uniquely you. Anyway, learning guitar is hard. Uh, and it's made a lot easier when you have a bit of a community of people who are learning alongside you. So, I invite you to come and join us over on the Couch Potatoes Guitar community. Uh, it's amazing. We all just chat and ask questions and post pictures. Uh, it's just a nice place. It's a small place. Not very many people know about it, but the people who do know about it are all really nice and kind and it's just nice. That's, there's far too little places like that on the internet. Uh, so come and join us, talk about your favourite guitar and get better on your guitar and watch us all as we all help each other get better. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, but extra special thanks to these names. These names support me over on Patreon where there's a host of other videos. Um, and that's about it. I'm going to go and listen to some more Judas Priest. I'll see you in the next video.